Whew. Good morning boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Getting a super, super, super late start today. It's like 5 or 6 p.m. right now. And we finally hung up the Subaru flag. I saw all your guys' comments about that flag. I know, I was slacking on getting that thing hung up. So we finally got that done. Other than that, we have been just doing orders all day from the launch over the weekend, which went incredibly, incredibly well. We do still have some of the jackets, some of the windbreakers, and some of like the M3 sweaters, and then jet tags, air freshener stickers. We still have some of that in stock. So if you guys want anything, first link down in the description box below, or www.boston.com. As always, really appreciate your support means the world to us. We did pick up a new item for the M3. This is something that I think is gonna look really, really good. But I did see all the comments about the taillights and I agree with you guys that I think the red looks better than the black as of right now. I do think down the road when we have all the other parts on the car, I think the black version of those taillights will look better. I'll throw a photo on the screen of this beautiful E92 M3, a red one with the same tails. It's kind of like, kind of inspiration for my build with the M3 as well. So check out that photo. It may change your guys' opinion. Either way, if we don't like them when the car's all finished up, we can always go back to the red ones. But check out what we got today. I think this is gonna look pretty dang good. I believe this is one of the top requested parts for the car is this carbon fiber trunk lip. This is gonna look so sick. The M3 does already have a factory, like the white one on there, but it's pretty small. It looks good, it's a little bit small. And I think this one is gonna look quite a bit better, especially being in carbon fiber. And it's gonna be bigger, so a little bit more aggressive. I think this is gonna look pretty sick. Let's go check out how the factory one looks. I think it looks pretty nice. Got my new Mercedes taillights on there. <laughs> we are gonna have to, of course, remove this factory trunk lip to get the new lip on there. You already know, I will have this carbon lip linked down in the description box below. Here is what the carbon weave looks like. I keep trying to match it to the factory carbon on the roof. I feel like that's a little bit smaller of a weave versus the front lip that we have on there. But you know what? I think this is gonna be close enough. All right, let's go ahead and pull off the factory trunk lip. I would use fishing string if we had any here at the shop, but of course I forget. I, can, I keep forgetting to order some. So we're gonna have to try different methods to get this thing off. I do believe this is just double-sided taped on here. Pretty dang sure. All right, so I did find some yarn <laughs> and it actually surprisingly worked to cut that double side tape off there. So now we gotta figure out how to get this glue off. The thing that I think works the best is this 3M eraser wheel. You just put this on a drill, run it on that double side tape and it should rip it right off there. You cannot obviously have this running on the paint for too long. It will heat it up and burn it. So be gentle, be careful, don't mess up your paint.
So I just went through and hit it with the eraser wheel. Then I used some clay on it and buffed it out and that is how it looks. Let's check out how this car looks actually with no trunk clip at all. Is it decent? Not really, kind of, kind of plain looking. We just set up this carbon trunk clip and I think this is gonna look absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and wipe down the trunk with IPA and wipe down this trunk clip with IPA and apply the double side tape, get this guy stuck on there, stand back and see how she looks. Here is the finished look with the carbon fiber trunk clip. Let's do a little, let's stand back a little bit and see how she looks. I wish just Evo wasn't in here, we could really see it. Uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. All right, I think that looks a lot, a lot better than the little white one. This is, I believe they consider this the high kick. I think that makes the tails look quite a bit better. And then especially when we add in a rear diffuser and then of course some bigger exhaust tips and different exhaust in the future, I think this whole ass end of the M3 is gonna look really, really nice. Overall, it does fit pretty good. There are some little gaps here and there, but for, I think it's like $100. I think it's a pretty decent fit. I'll link this down below. The one thing I did notice, the double-sided tape that they include is trash. Let's move on to the next part of what we're, what we're up to today. As you guys know, painting is definitely not one of my strong points and I'm really, really, really trying to get better. So that brings us to the next point. The next thing we're doing in today's video, we are gonna be repainting part of the M3. Let me show you guys what all we have to do. Everyone knows that the M3 has been missing the tow hook cover since day one, or like week one, I should say. The front was already off, the front's been off, and then the rear was broken and it fell off. So not only do we have to get some of these painted because they're just primary black right now, we also have to repaint the rear bumper on the car. Let me show you guys why. We might be able to make it look a little bit better with touch-up paint, but I'm really trying to keep this thing mint condition, like as perfect as it can be. And before we got it, this is some damage that was already on the car. I think he, I'm pretty sure the previous owner said he backed into a rock. So it's all scratched up down here. I figured to make it look right, it's probably best that we just do a complete respray on that rear bumper. Other than that, the car is near mint condition. There are some scrapes on the bottom of the front bumper. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pull off the rear bumper. We need to get this thing prepped out for some paint. There's no way we're gonna be able to paint it tonight, but we should be able to get this thing sprayed hopefully tomorrow. That would be ideal if we can just get it all prepped out tonight. If we have to do any primer or any sort of body work, get that done tonight and then we can come here bright and early tomorrow and get that bumper sprayed out. I'm really excited to paint this thing. If you guys remember when we did the truck, I made a lot of mistakes, made a lot of errors, but I'm hoping that with my experience and through all those failures that we can get better at painting. I'm not saying the M3 bumper is gonna turn out perfect, but I'm gonna try my best and try my hardest to make it as good as possible. Definitely a little bit different removing the M3 bumper versus like a Japanese car. A Japanese car, you unbolt the whole thing and you kind of unclip it from the sides by pulling on it this way. M3, the entire bumper slides back. You don't pull it out at all, you slide it back. So that was a little bit interesting, a little bit different. I'm gonna bust out the pressure washer, get this thing all nice and cleaned up, and then we can really assess the damage, see if we need to do any filler work. I did just notice this cracked plastic piece too. I'm guessing that was from when he backed into the rock because it's the same corner. Thankfully, there's nothing else damaged. No actual structural damage 
on the car, just that little broken plastic piece. And of course, the scratched bumper. All right, we got it all cleaned up. This here is the damage on the bumper. Some scratches up there, a little bit of scuffing there, even all through down here. It is actually pretty bad, a little bit worse than I thought, or a little worse than I remembered, I guess. So let's get to sanding. I'm gonna grab probably some 400 grit, try to sand a lot of that out. This is the only area of the bumper that's damaged. The rest of the bumper, I'll just scuff up with some red scotch bright. but all this right here, that all needs to be sanded down. There's more damage than I expected, so this is gonna take a little bit longer than we expected. I got a lot of that sanded out down there. That's good to go. There is a super, super low spot right up in here. And then if you come over here, I didn't notice this earlier, but there are two low spots right here. It almost looks like the head of a bolt, like a 12 millimeter bolt. One right there, one right there, low spot there, low spot there. If we're gonna respray this thing at all and try to make it decent, we might as well make it perfect. So we're gonna get those low areas sanded all the way down to bare plastic, bust out some filler, fill them in, sand it smooth, prime it, and then we should be able to paint it. I hope we can get all that done tonight except for the paint. Well, I decided to do something a little bit different. I didn't really want to put any sort of body filler on here because it is a bumper, it is flexible. I didn't want anything to start cracking out in the future. So what I did is grab my handy dandy little heat gun. Any area that I was going to fill, I just simply heated up the plastic, pushed on the backside, made it from a low spot to a little bit of a high spot, and then I sanded it flat with some 220. We do need to lay down a little bit of filler primer. So this whole area down here, this area here, there, there, a little bit up here and then around this tow hook cover area as well. A little bit of MP282 should do the trick on there. Let it dry overnight, come here in the morning, sand it smooth, spray it out, be done. All right, we got the whole bumper primered out, everything that needs to be primered. All we should really have to do tomorrow is finish scuffing the entire bumper, sand the primer areas, and we should be ready for paint. I'm really, really happy that we went ahead and just did like the heating method. I don't even know if it's a method. I'm sure other people have done that as well on plastic bumpers. Really happy we did that and pushed the bumper out instead of using the filler. Not only was it faster, but I feel like it's gonna last a lot longer. Also went and grabbed this little hood vent. I wanna bring this in when we grab paint tomorrow just so they can match it 100% perfect. I was gonna grab the gas cap lid, but I honestly could not figure out how to get the gas cap lid off of there. So this thing just popped right out. It should be good enough. All right, I think that is a good stocking point for today. I know it was a little bit shorter of a video, but we have a ton of other things going on as well this week. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new carbon fiber trunk clip. I think it's all gonna come together at the end. I hope if it doesn't, we can always change some things up. Peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
better appreciate my handwriting. <laughs>